How you doing? It's Terry Taylor. Um, just checking in with you to do a quick review from the couch. Uh, I just checked out Amazon's um, their pilot of the tick. Uh, they have it. They just put it out. It's available to watch the pilot, and you vote online um, if they're going to keep it. It's one of like four shows they have going on. There's one with Jean Claude Van Damme. Uh, there's one with Kevin Bacon, uh, I believe there's another one, and there's The Tick. Um, the Tick I had to check out because I'm I'm a big fan of The Tick. I was a big fan of The Tick going back to like the early 90s when I first checked out the comics, the, um, the, ben, the ben Edlin comics, that originally The Tick was designed, this was created by this guy Ben Edlin who was an illustrator, and uh, he was originally created to be a sp- spokesman for a newsletter for New England Comics. And that started in 86. Then in 88, he got his own series of comics, which actually took off. Essentially what they are is they're a satire of superheroes. Um, and superhero, like the, the world of superheroes. And um, The Tick being the main character. Um, in 1994, it got its own Fox TV, uh, its own cartoon, which was actually pretty successful. Um, I know I watched it when I was, uh, young. I was young. I was very young in 1994. Very, very young. Yeah. I was very young. Let's just say that. Yeah, we'll go with that. I like that. I was very young in 1994. Anyway, so I was really into the tech in 94. I thought it was a great cartoon. It was... It was so ludicrous, and it it always kept its continuity. Um, it, it was very good with that. Like it, it would go from like like let's just say in one episode, the moon was uh, damaged for the rest of the series of the tick. The moon was damaged. Like little things like that, they they paid very close attention to, and I thought it was really good. Um, in two thousand and one, it got its own live action series on Fox, which was. Uh, Patrick Warbutin, Warburton, uh, excuse me, Putty from Seinfeld. He played the Tick, and he was fantastic in it. Uh, it's a shame it only lasted nine episodes, uh, but for fans of the Tick, they did they did a really good job. It was it was great in that cheap Fox television like low budget way that they did everything. It, it really sort of lended itself to the material, um, but unfortunately, it never took off. So, um, Ben, and Ben Edlin has never sort of let go of the dream of the tick because he produced, uh, the show in 2001. And, um, so now we come to 2016 and Amazon has their pilots, uh, season up and they brought the tick back. Uh, so I watched it and this time we have Peter Serafinowicz who is playing the tick. You may know him from, he was in Shaun of the Dead. He was, uh, oi, prick. He was the roommate. Uh, he was in Spaced, if you're familiar with any of Simon Pegg's stuff uh, prior to, to uh, Shaun of the Dead. He was in, like, Couples Retreat. He, he's been he's been peppered around in things. Um, so he plays the tick. So the first, I want to say like three minutes of his screen time, I was I was not feeling. First of all, I don't like the suit. Um, I was happy to see that the ears moved. Uh, I'm sorry, the antennas moved. But I didn't like the suit. It looked like... First of all, it, they, they way over tried to detail the suit. And it's like a... It's not the bold blue that it should be. It's sort of like a... Like a muted blue. And it's just too detailed. And because of the detail, it makes it look like a cheap like a cheap suit that you would get at like a costume store, like that cheap rubber. Uh, it, it sort of has that look to it. Like you can see it like bunching up under the arms and stuff like that. So if obviously if they get picked up, they'll have more money. Um, so hopefully they will do something about the suit because the suit, it needs a lot of work. Um, that said, I was, uh, I, I, <laughs> I liked it. I I definitely liked his portrayal. Like it took me like a couple of minutes to warm up to him because he's so different from Patrick Warburton that um yeah, once I got into his take and his groove of the character, I really dug it. I think 
it showed me enough where I was intrigued that I want to see more of it. It had that nice, that like great sort of like tongue in cheek satire thing running throughout it. The story was, uh, the you know, just for a, a pilot, it, it was a great setup story. Um, it set up Arthur beautifully. And Arthur, by the way, who is acted by, I believe his name is Griffin. Where is his name? I have it here someplace. Uh, his name is Griffin Newman. Ha <laughs> ha, Griffin Newman. Uh, he plays Arthur, and he's great. Arthur Everest, he's he's awesome. He's he's perfectly cast. I couldn't have been happier. And you do get to see his suit at the very end of the pilot. Um, you know, it's it, like I said, it's a pilot. Um, there was some standout moments in it. Whoopi Goldberg's in it. Um, she actually has a, a portion of narrating it, like the tick narrates it. The narration jumps around, which I liked. Um, and Whoopi is playing Whoopi. Um, and that, that was cool to see her in there. I'm interested to see if they pick up the series, what more they're going to do with her. Because she was hosting her own talk show just called Whoopi. Um, and she was interviewing Superion, which if you if you know the, the, the source material, Superion is the first super human, the, the first superhero to come to Earth. And he arrives at Earth during the Tunguska Blast um, of 1908. Anyway, that's me just getting sweaty. Uh, but so anyway... I want to see more. I think I think it 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 was funny enough. Um, it it set up the story enough where I'm really intrigued. I I thought, you know, obviously you can tell that there's not too much money in the budget because it is just a pilot, and if it get if it gets picked up, it'll have more money. But I sort of like the like the 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 sort of cheesy like almost B movie sci fi like Sharknado esque like like Doctor Who esque. Uh, effects that they got going on, it, it works. It, it it's funny, you know. It really, it works for the tick. It, it you know, because they're not trying to take it too seriously. Um, I gotta say, you get to see the terror. Who the terror is? He's the the bad guy. He's the ultimate. He's the nemesis of the tick, and he's played by Jackie Earl Haley and. He's awesome. He's he for like the the three minutes or so that he's actually in it, he steals it. He's fantastic. He looks great. The the that's the thing. All the other costumes look great. The Tick's costume is not. It's not there. Uh, so they got to fix that. Anyway, I'm going to vote for it. I'm going to go on the Amazon thing because I want to see more. I like the Tick. Uh, I'd like to see them do a good job with the Tick. So I'm. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited. So uh, anyway, go check it out for yourself while it's up. Uh, hopefully, uh, they'll get picked up for a season. I'd like to see how they develop this, especially since um, Ben Edlund is back in the producer chair and he wrote this pilot as well. So he's very much involved. And, you know, it's a labor of love, obviously, for him. He's going now on his third decade of the tech. So obviously, he loves this character and he, he's he's... He's still attached very much to the property. So that's great. Um, I would like to see him develop more of the tick. So anyway, that's that's me for right now. Uh, I'll have another show for you. Um, check me out. Click like, subscribe, share. Uh, leave me a little comment below. Let me know what you thought of the tick. Um, check out some of my other videos I have on the channel. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at, at Terry the Loon. Um, yeah, thanks for stopping by. Um, you know, click like, subscribe, share, uh, leave us comments, you know, uh, let us know what you want to see. If you want to see something reviewed, if you'd like to talk about something else, anything, let me know. And, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you soon. I'll be back with the show. Bye.